Thank you, Jesus. There's something about worshiping God that just brings a peace all over you. There's something about worshiping God that no matter what you may be facing and no matter what the enemy may be trying to do to distract you from what God is trying to say, when you begin to worship God, the distractions begin to fade away and you begin to realize that the God I serve is greater than anything I may be facing. You begin to realize the awesomeness and the bigness of the God that we serve. And so every now and then I got to take some time and worship him because I got to get myself back in perspective. Sometimes my vision is blurred because I'm looking at the wrong stuff. I'm trying to go somewhere. I'm, I'm really trying to get to this. But I, sometimes my, my vision, I've been looking at something so long that my vision is messed up. And I got to close my eyes and refocus because what I'm looking at looks bigger than it really is. But worship causes me to refocus. Have you ever been blurred and you close your eyes and say, let me just refocus. And then you just begin. So worship causes me to refocus to realize that what I'm looking at ain't as big as it looks. You got your mirror and your mirror says objects in this mirror are closer than they appear. <laughs> so sometimes when you begin to look at circumstances in life, they look like they're bigger than they really are. And it's not until I begin to worship God that I realize that the problem I'm going through ain't as big as I thought it was. It's not as difficult as I thought it was. It's not as hard as I thought it was. As I begin to refocus, I realize that the God that I serve is bigger than the problem that I'm going through. Oh, God help me. Somebody, anybody here been looking at the problem and thought the problem was big, but now that you begin to worship God, you realize the problem that you've been looking at is not as big as the God that you serve. Oh, God, hallelujah. I've been looking at the wrong stuff, y'all. I've been looking at, I take this thing, I can't do that. You can sit down if you want to. I've been looking at the wrong stuff. I've been looking at the difficulty of the situation. I've been looking at the problem, and the problem is not as big as I thought it was. I've been looking at the problem through binoculars of the world. I'm going to help somebody right there. I, I've been looking at my problems through the binoculars of the world. Because binoculars make things look bigger than they really are. And I've been looking at my problem through the binoculars of the world. And God said, take the binoculars off. Oh, God. Take the binoculars off because the problem is not as big as you think it is. Remove the binoculars because I really want you to see that the God you serve is more than able. The God that you serve is more than able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than you even ask or think. The God that you serve is not short in his hand, is not short in the power that he has. He's able. He's able to work out every situation. He's able to fix every problem. He's able to work out everything that needs to be worked out in your life. There's more that I need to let somebody know because the problem has been trying to tell you that the God that you serve is not able. But God wants to let you know, take the binoculars off. Take the binoculars off. Take the binoculars off. Stop looking at the problem in such a detail. 
Some of us are detail oriented. We look at the problem and you look at it from the front and you look at it from the back and you look at it from up and you look at it from down and you're trying to figure out what is going on. And God said, you don't need to worry about the details. Oh my God, I need somebody to help me today. You don't need to worry about the details because God said, if I got it, I'm handling it. Why are you worried about the details? Have you ever been invited to a party? Did they ever ask you to worry about the details? They just told you to come. God said, just come to the party. I'll take care of the details. That's for somebody right there. That's, God said, just come to the party. I, I, I sent you the invitation. Just come to the party. I'll handle the details. You don't got to worry about the food. You don't got to worry about how, many, how much people it occupies. You don't got to worry about none of that. Just come to the party. Stop worrying about the details. You ain't the planner anyway. You can't handle the situation anyway. Does it really matter? Because you can't change it. Can, can I get that in your head this morning? Can I just can I get that? You can't change it. Ain't nobody moving because of you. Oh, God. Ain't no problem being fixed because you are discomforted by what's going on. Your feelings ain't going to change what you're going through. You can't fix it anyway. And since you can't fix it, why are you worried about it? Because the more you worry about it, the more you realize you can't fix it. And the more you realize you can't fix it, the more you worry about it. <laughs> Anybody been there? <laughs> Oh, let, me, let me be real. Anybody there right now? Oh, Jesus. Uh, the, the, more, the more you worry about it, the more you say, I can't fix this. And the more you say, I can't fix it, the more you worry about it. And you get deeper and 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 deeper. And deeper. God said, you need to stop worrying about it. Give it to me. God said, give it to me. Let me worry about it. Give it to me. I'll handle the details. Give it to me. I'll fix it. Give it to me. I'll work it out. Give it to me. I'll make it all right. Anybody ready? I feel like preaching. Anybody ready? They give it to God this morning. Anybody tired? Anybody tired of going through the same old, same old, same old, same old? I wake up in the morning and it's the same problem. I go to sleep and it's the same problem. I, I drink my tea my morning coffee and it's the same problem i eat my dinner it's a good dinner but i can't enjoy the dinner because it's the same problem you know something i'm tired of not enjoying life because of other negroes i'm tired of not enjoying life because the devil thinks he got me on the run i know who i serve i know who i belong to I know who's able to do things in my life. It's time for me to act like I serve somebody who's big enough to handle the problem I'm going through. It's time for me to enjoy abundant life. How God going to give you something and you don't enjoy it? I ain't gonna give you something and you don't enjoy it. That's like me giving you a hundred dollars and I tell you go spend it and you worried. Well, if I spend it, is he gonna ask for it back? I better not spend it because you might want it back. If I gave it to you, if I gave it to you, I'm not worried about giving it back. God gave you abundant life. You don't got to worry about giving it back. God gave you peace. You don't got to worry about giving it back. God gave you more than enough. You don't have to worry about giving it back. God gave it to you. Why are you worried about giving it back? God said, I want my people to enjoy life. And the only way the only way, the only way they're going to enjoy life, they got to refocus. They got to refocus. You got to refocus. Because the only thing that's different is what you are looking at and perceiving in what you're looking at. 
God is still able. The problem is still there. The only difference is how are you looking at each of those items? How are you looking at God? How are you looking at the problem? Neither one has changed. Neither one has changed. But it's my focus. Am I perceiving that God is not able to handle? And some of us got God on a scale. Can I talk about you this morning? Some of us got God on the scale. And we put God on the scale. And we put the problem on the scale. And in our eyes, the problem is outweighing God. I'm here to tell you, your, your scale is unbalanced. Oh, God. Your scale is not calibrated. I'm here to tell you, you need to calibrate your scale. Because your scale is off. And you believe in the offness of your scale. Have you ever got on a scale you were trying to weigh yourself and the scale won't calibrate it and it made you think like you were lighter than you were? Oh, God. Y'all thought I was going to say heavier than you were. It made you think like you were lighter than you were. And you got on the scale. Oh, I just lost this. And then you went to the gym when the scale was calibrated. And you got on the This scale must be wrong. And no, the scale at your house is wrong. And that's the problem. We stay home all week and the scale of our house is wrong. And then we come to God's house and God's trying to show you that I got the right scale. And God's trying to show you that he's greater. And you've been at home all week thinking the problem was greater than God. And God got to get you to his house to refocus you and let you know your scale is off. Your scale is off. I'm actually greater than anything you're going through. Huh? So the only way, the only way I'm going to enjoy the abundant life that Hosanna already promised me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The only way I'm going to enjoy the abundant life that Jesus died for me for, the only way I'm going to enjoy the resurrection power that he has working on the inside of me, because the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead now resides in me. The only way I'm going to enjoy that, I got to refocus what I am looking at and read to my mind to realize what I'm looking at is God being greater than what I am experiencing, I am facing, or even I am going through. And when I refocus, I don't cry so many pity parties. Oh, God. When I refocus, I don't feel so frustrated. When I refocus, I don't always feel like throwing in the towel. When I refocus, I don't come to God's house and act like I don't got nothing to praise him for. That's your problem. Your problem is that you don't love God. Your problem ain't that you don't want to worship him. Your problem is that you're focusing on the wrong thing. And because you're focusing on the wrong thing, it keeps your hands down. When you're focused on the wrong thing, it keeps your mouth closed. When you're focused on the wrong thing, it keeps you sitting in your seat and you looking around and trying to figure out why everybody praising God. Don't they know what I'm going through? Can I get some sympathy in this house? Can they feel what I'm going through? Can't somebody come pray for me? Can't somebody come pet me up? Can't somebody come do nothing for me? God said ain't nobody coming to pray for you. Ain't nobody coming to sit beside you. Ain't nobody going to put their arms around you because it's not a problem with what you're going through. It's a problem with what you're looking at. And if you'll change your focus, won't nobody have to come to your seat. You'll shout right there and don't got no music. If you refocus what you're looking at, you'll throw your hands up and say glory. And everybody look at you and try to figure, why are you saying glory in this part of the service? We're not supposed to be saying glory in this part of the service. But it just hit you that the problem that you're going through is not as great as you thought it was. You just got the revelation. You were like the prodigal son. You came to yourself and realized what I'm going through ain't that difficult. And when they hit you, you say, Glory! You don't care what part of the service you in. You don't care what's happening. You don't care who's around. When you get the revelation that what you're going through is not as great as what the God that you serve, you no hands go up and you say glory. You say glory. And you could be in your car. You could be at work. You could be anywhere. But when you get the revelation that all this time I've been worrying about something that God already got. All this time I've been stressing about something that God already got. All this time I've been pulling my hair out the little bit that I got that God got already got it in control. I get to kick myself and say, why I've been worrying about something that God already got it in control. I need to just say, Glory. 
Glory. So this week, y'all, this week, y'all, this week, y'all, this week, oh, I feel it in my spirit. That this week, y'all, is glory week. Every time the enemy throws something your way, say glory. Every time they try to stop you, say glory. Every time they call you and take you another bill is due, say glory. Why am I saying glory, Pastor? Because the God I serve is greater than the bill. The God I serve is greater than the problem. The God I serve is greater than the than any bad news I may receive the God I serve I'm not saying glory because I'm going through I'm saying glory because the God I serve is more than able to can I close with the three Hebrew boys? Can I close with them? The three Hebrew boys said, King, live forever. But the God that we serve is more than able to deliver us out of your hands. But if he doesn't, oh God. <laughs> but if he doesn't, I'm like this, y'all. If he don't do another thing for me, he did enough for me. Oh God. If he don't do another thing for me, he saved my soul. Soul uh, gave me a right mind, uh, gave me a reasonable portion of my health. If he don't bless me with another house, uh, if he don't bless me with another car, if I don't bless me with anything else, what he's done for me already. <laughs> Jesus, what he's done for me already is enough for me to praise him until I rest in eternity. What he's done for me already is enough for me to give him glory until I heard the last trumpet sound and I be caught up to meet him in the air. My God, come on, sir. <laughs> God, what he's done for me already, what he's done for me already is enough, is enough. But the God I serve, can I tell you about the God I serve? The God I serve doesn't forget my birthday. The God I serve doesn't forget my anniversary. The God I serve sends me flowers just because. The God I serve, you say, when did he do that? When I walked down the street there and I look and there was a flower right there, God sent it just for me. When I'm driving to work and the sun begins to break the sky, he said, I did that just for you. Oh, man my God, oh my, 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 when he worked out a miracle for me that nobody else understands, that nobody else knows it's a miracle but me, he did it just. You got some things I got to get out of here. You got some things you can't even testify about because won't nobody understand. Oh, God, they won't understand. They be like, well, why are you getting so happy about that? Baby, you just don't understand. You don't understand what God just did. You just don't understand. You just don't understand what God did for me. You don't understand what he, how he just delivered me. There's some things I can't testify about because y'all won't understand. <laughs> Y'all won't get it. This is just between me and God. <laughs> yeah. There's something. Me and God got a private joke going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got some private stuff going on. <laughs> you and God got some private stuff going on. He smiles and you like, that's God. <laughs> God Almighty. <laughs> oh my God. You get a phone call, you say, that's God. <laughs> oh my God. It's like your husband and wife. Your wife will look at you and you'll smile back. And nobody else will understand it, but she understands it. <laughs> Y'all laugh about the same thing. And somebody asks you, what's funny? I can't tell you what's funny because you wouldn't understand, but we get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how it is with God. That's how it is with God. God would just smile and don't want nobody else to understand. And you'd be like, oh, yeah, I understand, God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You'd be driving to work and you're trying to figure out how you made it to work. And won't nobody else understand. You say, thank you, God. <laughs> oh, God. You walk in the building and nobody else understand why you just giving God because you're able to walk in the building again. <laughs> you didn't think you were going to be able to walk in the building. <laughs> they don't understand. <laughs> and you can't even testify of what God's done because won't nobody else understand but God told me to remind you did not smile on your last night 
Oh, God, didn't I smile on you this morning? Didn't I let you know in the midnight hour that I was still on your side? Didn't I let you know last week that, that nothing formed against you shall prosper? Didn't I remind you how great I am? I didn't do it big, but I did it in just a small note that you know I'm still on your side. <laughs> Isn't it amazing, y'all? Isn't it amazing that the devil do something big to try to distract you and God do something small just to remind you he's still on your side? <laughs> Oh God, you ain't did somebody catch that? Did somebody catch that? Isn't it amazing how the devil wanna put on a big show to try to tell you how great he is and God does something small to let you know I'm still there. I haven't forsaken you. I haven't left you. I'm still on your side. And although it looks like I'm not working it out, I am still working it out. Oh God. Oh God. I'm here to tell somebody. God said he's still working it out. Oh Oh God. God said he's still working it out. God said you thought I forgot about it. You thought you put it on the black burner. But God said I haven't forgot about it. Ain't no cold case too hard that I can't solve. I'm still working it out for you. I just took it off the shelf this morning and I reminded myself, oh I haven't did that for you yet. I'm going about to do it now. The angel just came to me and said, look God, we got something on the shelf back there. They got their name on it. They got Sister Joy's name on it. They got Sister Yvonne's name on it. They got Sister Coleman's name on there. If I just call me there, I got something on the shelf. They got their name on it. Well, bring it to me. Oh, yeah. I haven't sent them there. That I haven't sent that to them yet. Oh, God. I haven't sent that to them yet. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me get ready to send it right now. Let me get ready to send it right now. Let me get ready to send it right now. Oh, God. Special delivery. Overnight. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Let me send it right now. Let me let them know I ain't forgot about them. Let me let them know that I can do a one-day journey. I can do a three-day journey in one day. I can send your blessing that's overdue seven days and get it to you in the next hour. Let me let them know I haven't forgot about you. I haven't forsaken you. I'm still on your side. Just change your perspective. Realize that I'm greater than anything. I'm greater than anything that you're facing right now and I have not forgotten about you. I have not forsaken you. I have not forgotten the labor of love that you have shown the saints and in due season ye shall weep if you faint not. And today is just your day not to faint. That's all. That's all it is. It's just your day not to faint. God just sent you a word because you felt a little, you looked a little dizzy. Yeah. You looked a little dizzy in the spirit. It looked like you, you were getting a little dizzy. God said, sit down. Let me give you some water because I don't want you to faint because you'll reap if you're faint not. See, he didn't say if it looks like you're fainting. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say if you feel like you're fainting. He said if you're faint not. So when you look like you're fainting, God said, don't worry. Let me just sit you down. <laughs> let me just sit you down. Let me just calm you down. Let me just blow on you right now to let you know everything going to be all right because I don't want you to faint because as long as you don't faint oh God I, can I help somebody right there as long as you don't faint you'll reap as long as you don't faint and if you trust in God he'll make sure you don't faint can I get somebody as I'm taking my seat just to stand on your feet and give God glory oh God hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm going to reap if I faint not. What's going to help me not to faint? Every time I see a problem, I'm going to say glory, 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 glory. Glory is going to help me to keep standing. Glory is going to help me not to faint. Glory is going to remind me God is still on my side. So, I might have came to church a little drunk. Might have came to church just a little dizzy. I wasn't drunk. I was just tired. Been going through a lot. Felt like giving up. Felt like just throwing in the towel. But God said, just say glory. Every time. Oh, God. 
I, I got this revelation that I gotta go. I feel faint, but every time I say glory, I take another step. And every step I take, I get stronger and stronger. Glory, glory, I feel my strength coming back. Y'all, glory, I feel some more energy coming back. Glory, I feel my, I feel my help coming out. Glory, glory, glory. You can't do it standing still. Don't stand still. Walk, say glory and take another step. Say glory and take another step. Say glory and take another step. Say glory and take a look. The Bible says uh, he shall renew your strength. You shall mount up with wings as an eagle. You shall run and not faint. Oh, God. So every time, if I keep moving, y'all, the devil can't do nothing with me. If I keep moving, he can't. It's when I stand still, everything begins to come to my mind. But if I say glory and take another step, if I say glory and I keep walking, if I say glory and I keep, I'll be like the ten lepers on my way to the high priest. God will heal me. And then all I got to do, I'm closing, I'm closing, my last close, y'all, I'm closing. All I got to do is when I see myself getting healed, look back and say, thank you. <laughs> That's all I got to do. That's all I got to do. I just, I just got to look back and say, thank you. <laughs> know what I'm doing? My soul looks back and wonder how I, how I, how I made it. <laughs> when I look back and say, thank you, I look how far I came. I said, my, my soul looks back and wonder how I made it. <laughs> How I made it over. So this week, I dare you, this week, just walk. Can I borrow from Santa Claus? Put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking across the floor. That's all. That's all you got to do. 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 And just say glory every time you take a step. <laughs> glory, yeah, yeah. Glory, yeah. Glory, yeah. See, you don't got to take giant steps. You can take baby steps. Glory, <laughs> glory, <laughs> glory, <laughs> glory. <laughs> and then as you get to take baby steps, you take bigger ones. Glory, <laughs> glory, <laughs> glory. So this week I'm walking and saying glory. That's all. I'm just, I'm just walking <laughs> and saying glory. That's all. I'm just walking and saying glory. <laughs> and before I know it, I'm going to walk right into my new dimension. <laughs> I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk right into my blessing because God said the blessing shall overtake me and as I'm walking the blessing don't come up behind me it's going to sneak up behind me and tap me on the shoulder and say I'm here yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus I heard somebody going to have a testimony God just tapped me on the shoulder and said here you go here you go this is what you've been waiting on this, this is the blessing you've been waiting on here you go here you go, here you go. Yes. oh God so I'm just going to walk and say glory and receive from God what belongs to me because I'm changing my perspective. I'm looking at God and not the problem because God is bigger than anything I go through. Come on and just shout glory in this house. Oh God, I'm due, I'm done, I'm finished. It's over. Yes, Lord, you can sit down. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. I'm just going to say glory. <laughs> somebody, needs to, somebody needs to go home and walk all in your house. Do you need a new refrigerator? I dare you just touch your refrigerator and say glory. Do, do you need a new stove? Do you need a new microwave? I dare you if you need a new car, just go touch your car and say glory. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Do you need a new job? I dare you just go, go get the help warning. Ass. I know they don't have it like they used to, but grab a paper, get the help on the ass, put your hands on that, say glory. <laughs> oh God, you got something hooked up on the internet? I got my resume on the internet, Pastor. Pull it up, put your hand on the screen and say glory. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> just say glory. Watch what God does. Watch how God moves. Watch how God delivers. Watch how God makes a way. All you got to do is say glory. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> where am I at? What am I supposed to be doing now? I don't know. <laughs> I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. <laughs> oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus.
Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Ooh, God. Let me get out of here. Rest to your feet all over the place. Ooh, Jesus. But I feel the glory cloud. Oh, God. I, I feel the glory cloud. Oh, I feel the glory cloud. Ooh, Jesus. I feel the glory cloud. And the glory cloud only rains blessings. Oh, I, can't get, I got to get out of The glory cloud only rains blessings. Oh, God. And I want the cloud to sit right over me. I want it to sit right over me. Because I'm going to be like the Native Americans. I'm going to do the rain dance. I can't get no help me here. I'm, I'm going to do the rain dance, y'all. I want the glory cloud to be right there because I'm going to do the rain dance and, until the rain comes down and every blessing I need from God comes down from the glory cloud. Anybody feel like doing the rain dance with me? Oh, God. Anybody feel like doing a rain dance with me? Uh, the glory cloud is in the place. Uh, and all I got to do is do the rain dance. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Bless your name. Oh, Jesus. I see somebody in the back doing the rain dance. The glory is about to come down. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Glory. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. Ooh, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I think I just heard thunder. I think I just heard some thunder. You know, thunder comes before the rain. I just, I just heard some thunder. I just... I just saw some lightning flashing. <laughs> oh, God. I'm like Elijah. I heard the sound of abundant rain. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Oh God, oh God, oh God, woo Jesus. Send down your glory, 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 send down your glory. Send down your glory. Woo, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need an organist, don't we? Glory! I feel that all in my... Ooh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Send down your glory. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. But I need some more money. I need some more money. Glory! From the north, south, east, and west. Glory! Oh, God. Yeah, let me get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, God. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the glory. I feel the glory. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Tell you what we're going to do. I got I to gotta go. But I feel generous today. I feel generous today. We're going to send the glory to some of those who ain't here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Some ain't here because they couldn't make it. Same ain't here by choice. <laughs> Jesus. But we're going to still send the glory. Yeah, I'm sending the glory to Joey and Christina. In the name of Jesus. I said, glory! glory! Woo, Jesus! Hallelujah! Woo, Jesus! God is sitting in the glory. God is sitting in the glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm going to sit in the glory uh, to Julie and Stephen. I'm sitting in the glory. Because the glory going to hit them and rub off on their mama. Oh, God. Glory. Glory. Yeah. Woo, Jesus. I feel generous. I feel generous. I, I feel that I send the glory to my cousin, Christy Eaton. I send the glory. Glory. Oh, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I send the glory to Olivia and Trinity right now in the name of Jesus. Glory! Oh, Jesus. I feel this thing, y'all. I feel this. Oh, God, send this. Thing. I send the glory to your wife. I send the glory to Dossel Systems right now in Jesus. Glory! I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, yeah, I got one more. It just popped in my mind. I send the glory to Lilla Lita. And you, glory! <laughs> okay. I, I see Nick and Nicole. Glory! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. I think I ran out of postage. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> Lift those hands to God. <laughs> we will get out of here. <laughs> May the grace of God <laughs> and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit <laughs> rest, <laughs> rule. Hold up. I just forgot about this. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I just thought about one more person. I got to send to him. I send the glory to my brother-in-law right now, Dr. Nell. Glory! Jesus. Oh God. I, oh, I felt I felt something right. I felt something right. I, I felt, felt oh God. I felt something right. I felt something right. I, I felt something right here. Woo! Jesus. I, oh God. Oh God. I felt something right. I felt something just changed in the spirit. I, I felt something right there. Oh my God. Let me. I gotta, Okay, let me get back to my benediction. I'm going to try it again. But I got to say, I got to send the glory to my mother-in-law. I send the glory to Judy, Do Judy Doyle now. In Jesus' name, glory. Oh, I think I'm running out of posters, y'all. I got to send it. I keep hurting people in my spirit every time I get rid of clothes. I got to send it to my mama and to my Aunt Mona. Glory. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to try it again, y'all. I'm going to try it one more time. I know. Y'all ain't never seen a service like this. I know. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Woo. Got to send the glory to my Uncle Ed. Glory! Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm trying. I really am trying, y'all. I, really, I really am trying. <laughs> Every time I try to, I try to stop, I keep hurting somebody else in my mind. I got it. Oh, God. <laughs> D, don't do that, man. You get me started again. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's see. I got it. I got it. I got to oh, I got to send it. Let's see. I got to send it to Erica and Christine and, and Crystal. <laughs> oh, God. And all the grandkids. <laughs> Glory! Okay. 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 Yeah, Darrell already here. She already got it. I don't got to send to her. You, you can get it at the tail end of the service. It, it don't matter when you come in LLWC. You get it. You get it any time. In the beginning, in the middle, at the end. Okay. I'm going to try this. Somebody pray for me because I'm trying this thing. Let's, let's try this thing again. I'm going I'm to try it one more time, y'all. <laughs> God Almighty. Okay, let's try it again. Lift, lift those hands to God. Oh, God. May the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule. Oh, God. I got to send it to Bishop and Lady T. I got to, I got to, I got to send the, I got to, I, I send the glory to Bishop, Lady T, and New Temple of Faith in Jesus' name. Glory! Okay. Okay, one more time. I'm going to try to do it fast so I can get through this. Get to your hands. Who? Oh, Delilah. Yeah. Let me send a double glory to her because she got to come back on the plane. Glory, glory. Oh, God. That wasn't my fault, y'all. That was him. That was him. That was him. That wasn't me. That was him. That was him. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try one more time. Lift those hands to God. May the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth and forever. And let all God's people say, Amen. Amen. You are dismissed. Glory! Glory!